And here's a situation where our heart is likely to skip a beat. Imagine being stranded in a cable car. There were two cables holding that car, but one of them snapped. It's a matter of time before the remaining cable snaps too from the weight. What would you do? You know, apart from panicking. Six school children in Pakistan were stranded in a dangling cable car for over nine hours. They were going to school and they took the cable car just like they would every morning. Little did the students know what fate had in store for them. Our next report bringing you all the details. This is Pakistan's Hyber Pakhtunkhwa province. It is mountainous, underdeveloped. Not every part of this province is connected by roads or even bridges. So often, you will find people using cable cars to commute. This morning, six children boarded a cable car to get to school in the province's Batagram town. With them were two adults. Little did anyone know what fate had in store for them. Midway into the ride, a wire or two of the car snapped. The passengers found themselves stranded in the middle of nowhere. They were dangling from the sky. Below them was a deep gorge and the narrow Jangri River. It was a matter of time before the sole cable holding the car would snap too from the weight. The children were petrified. One of them fainted. It was 7 a.m. in the morning. Not many realized what was happening in the skies. Thankfully, there was mobile network and the two adults aboard the cable car had handsets. Calls were made. Authorities were informed about the plight of the stranded passengers. Two helicopters were dispatched. Soon, this footage emerged, a rescuer trying to whip the dangling cable car and rescue the passengers. Alas, he wasn't successful. At least two attempts to rescue the stranded passengers failed. The wind was gusty. There were other huddles in the path, like the lone cable holding the car coming in the way of the rescue operation. Pakistan's local media began calling up the stranded passengers. One of them said at least two students were slipping in and out of consciousness. Time clearly was not in favor of the rescuers. Day turned into afternoon and soon the sun would be setting, making the rescue operation extremely difficult, if not impossible. One passenger asked, Tell us why the helicopters are going back. Where will we get help from? We need drinking water. The local residents were helplessly looking at the dangling car. There was not much they could do. The ordeal went on for over nine hours before one child was brought to the ground and then another. This story will not end with the rescue operation. What's the guarantee that such an incident will not repeat itself? Pakistan, after all, is infamous for negligence. One local school teacher told the media that at least 150 students at this school take the risky cable car ride to school every day. Education cannot come at such a great cost. Can it? Bureau Report, we on. Wild is one. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.